Are you going to take the blue pill or the red pill? Are you going to set yourself free from the constant monitoring and surveillance of Android operating systems? I don't think any of us like to be monitored 24 seven. And unfortunately, phones today are doing exactly that. If you want privacy, if you want a secure operating system, then you're going to want to look at Graphene OS. This is a Pixel 6a that's already running Graphene OS. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Graphene on a Pixel 7 Pro. Same process on the 6a. Very simple process to get yourself free from the constant surveillance of Google and others. So let's get started and escape the matrix. This Pixel 7 Pro has been set to factory defaults. Doesn't have to be, but I'll just show you the full process setting this up. So basically a new phone. I'll quickly set this up using the standard Android operating system and then I'll show you how to install Graphene OS on the phone. Okay, so I'll press get started. I haven't got a SIM card installed on this phone. I'm gonna skip that. I'm going to set up a Wi-Fi network later. I don't need that. So I'm gonna set this up offline. You can enable these services if you want. I don't need them. Isn't required once again for the installation. So I'll click accept. I need to specify my country, which is the UK and I'll press close and next. You could put a pin number in if you wanted to. I'm gonna skip that. So I'm gonna skip the pin. Swipe to navigate your phone. I'm gonna skip that and swipe up. There you go, phone is ready to go. Now I can connect it to my computer and install Graphene OS. Now in this example, I'm using a Windows 11 computer. You could use other operating systems if you want to. The Graphene OS website has an FAQs section, which shows you, for instance, which devices are supported. So various Pixel phones are supported. You can get the various details from their website. But basically on the front page, I'm gonna click on install Graphene OS, and we're gonna use the web-based installer. This makes it much, much easier. So I'll scroll down, and we told which operating systems are supported. In this example, it's Windows 11, but you could use one of those other operating systems if you want to. Now, before we unlock the bootloader, we have to do some work on the Windows computer and on the phone. So my team and I have created a PDF, which I've linked below, which helps you set this up. I'm gonna obviously show you the steps here, but you could use the document if you prefer. So the first thing we need to do is swipe up, go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone, swipe up, go right down to the bottom, and press build number seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And notice we told that we are now a developer. I'll press back on about phone, go to system, select developer options. I'm gonna scroll down and select OEM unlocking, and I'm gonna enable that. Scroll down and select USB debugging and press okay. That little ping that you heard was my computer. I've got this plugged into the computer already. You don't have to plug it in before you make these changes, but I've done that. So in the document, we're told to unlock the phone, do those settings, and then connect it to the computer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is search for Windows updates, check for updates. Okay, so we're up to date. I'm gonna go to advanced options, optional updates, driver updates. I'm gonna select Lee Mobile, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, other hardware Android composite ADB interface and then I'm gonna click on download and install. Okay, so once that's installed, I'll go back and now I can go to the Graphene OS website and now I can unlock the bootloader. But before I do that, I have to do something on the phone. Okay, so what I need to do now is boot the phone into fast boot mode. So the way I'm gonna do that is press the volume up button and the power button at the same time. We're told to reset the phone. Now, when you do that, you need to hold the power down button. So press and hold the power down button at the same time while the phone is restarting. And there you go, you can see it started in fast boot mode. So now in Windows, I can click unlock bootloader. It's picked up the phone, so Pixel 7 Pro. If you don't see that, you may have made some of the mistakes that I made. Firstly, you need to open up Graphene OS on your computer while connected to the phone. So you're opening up the web page on your computer using a browser that's supported like Chrome while you're connected to the phone. The phone needs to be in fast boot mode. So I'm gonna click connect. So you need to press the volume down button now to select unlock the bootloader, and then you need to press the power button. You need to now run through the basic phone setup once again. So I'm gonna say get started, skip SIM card, skip Wi-Fi, click next, un uncheck the services, click accept, choose my country UK, click close, click next. I'm not gonna set up a pin, so I'm gonna skip that. 
select skip, and there you go, phone has been set up. We now need to do something similar again. So swipe up, select settings, go to about phone, go to bold number and select it seven times. So that we become a developer, press back, go to system, press on developer options, toggle USB debugging and press OK. We're gonna do something similar again, so power and volume up, restart the phone and then hold the volume down button while the phone restarts. That takes us once again into fast boot mode. So back on the computer, we're going to download the Graphene operating system. So you can see at the time of this recording, it says Cheetah Factory 2023-0711. You'll obviously just get the latest release when you do this yourself. Okay, so that's been downloaded. So what I can do is click flash release. This, please note, will replace the existing operating system and wipe all the existing data. So just be aware of that. You're gonna lose all your data on your phone. Okay, so the phone has been flashed and it's now been restarted. So various software has been written now to the phone. Device goes through various restarts. At this point, you just need to wait for the process to complete. Phone is gonna be rebooted multiple times. Software is gonna be written to the phone. You're gonna see stuff like this on the phone, like fast boot D. You'll see the phone reboot once again, multiple times. Just wait for the process to complete. Okay, the next step is to lock the bootloader. So bootloader is now locked. On the phone now, I need to press the volume down button to lock the bootloader. Press the power button to select that option. The phone will now reboot with Graphene OS. Okay, last step is to press the start button to boot Graphene OS. It says Google here, but it's actually gonna boot into Graphene OS, and there you go. Just change to Graphene OS. Okay, so there you go. We need to do the basic setup. So specify your country, UK or United States. I'll specify UK. Now you can specify your Wi-Fi. I'll skip that for the moment. I haven't got a SIM card in this phone, so I'll skip that. You can decide whether you want apps to use location information. I'll say next. I'm not gonna set up the fingerprint for the phone. You could put a pin number in or skip that. So I'll just put a basic pin number in. Hopefully you'll use something better than that. I'll press next because I'm not gonna restore any apps. I'll press skip and now I can press start. Okay, so there you go, I've got Graphene OS running, but what we wanna do is disable OEM unlocking. So I'm gonna go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone, scroll down, press bold number seven times once again, put in my pin, I'm now a developer. I'm gonna press back, go to system, developer options. I'm gonna uncheck OEM unlocking. We told that we need to reset the phone. So last thing I'll do is press the power button and restart the phone. Okay, so there you go. I've got Graphene OS installed on this phone and I've locked it down. This is the first in multiple videos where I'm covering Graphene OS. I just wanted to show you how to get it installed. Probably the next question a lot of people will be asking is how do I get apps to work on the phone? So I'll cover that in a separate video, how to get notifications, how to set up the phone so that it works in the way that you would expect. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm David Bumble and I wanna wish you all the very best. When you go out there, make sure that you've escaped the matrix.